Okay, here we are. We're coming out down the yellow brick road. That's what we call the sidewalk to the pineapple house. And, oh, knocked out a tree thing. But they managed to dig a trench next to the sidewalk because the water was just coming down the sidewalk to the pool house and just pouring over here. So they detoured it to the back. You know, something good comes out of everything. All this is going into the trash. And so um, it moved it. All the water was as high as you can see right there. And then it came all the way over here. And yeah, we we had to pull everything out. And those three holes with that sideways brick helped relieve some money, water. And that sideways brick holes, where are you? Right there, left some water. And then, <clears throat> yeah, I got to clean up a ton of stuff behind the pool house. So that'll all go to the dump on Tuesday. And here we are at the back side. This was completely underwater. And Bob, um, well, we had dug that little trench before, that space before, so I guess that was a good thing that the water poured out of that hole as well. So all in all, we didn't do too bad in the back, just a lot of water, which is a really great thing because um, the plants are going to flourish. Oh, and you can see that pink pot tile. That will be gone starting October 1st. The pool's down for six weeks as we redo um, the, old, the old girl. I know I have my pillows upright so that they don't get too wet. And yeah, the grass is just going to be great. Everything is going to just be fine. Bob said the neighbor B lost um, a tree up front. That's our next door neighbor over there. But thanks to Richard, one of our housemates, and Bob, they dug the trenches so the water would stop going into the little house. And I noticed the sphere has been black for a while, but the calm after the storm. But yet, yeah, I'm so grateful. What an experience.